Hello friends, I hope you are well. In this video, I will show you how to implement the Stripe API in order to use it as a fully customized payment processor. What am I talking about? Very simple. You have a Stripe account, then people are buying an uh, online product. It can be a subscription, a membership, whatever. So when they buy, okay, then you will receive uh, the payment uh, notification and then you will process it, for example, to send an email or do whatever you want. I will show you with my implementation, with my VPS server, my PHP, my Ubuntu uh, distribution. I will show you how to implement it very fast. I did it uh, in the past uh, few days and now I'm ready to show it to you. So first, what do you need? You need Stripe, okay? So if you don't have a Stripe account, you can open, uh, uh, if you have a business entity, wherever it is, uh, it can be an LLC, it can be an LLP, it can be a company any, uh, open anywhere you want. Then you need that, you open the Stripe account, that's done for, for me. If you don't know how to do it, just reach out. I will add a link in the description in order to contact me if you want to open a Stripe account. That's one. Stripe. So here I'm connected on Stripe. Okay. Then you receive all your payment coming from your website or your payment link, whatever. Okay. Then you click on developer. Okay. Then you have the web hooks here. You have to create a point new. You do add end point. What does it mean? It means every time someone is buying something using you the stripe any stripe payment links then you will receive a notification on your endpoint you see here this is an endpoint that i've added on my website objective-renta.com okay and i created this file stripe underscore webhooks dot php i will show you later how it works very simple so first you do add endpoint simple as that I just created one endpoint. Then you click on it. Okay. No need. You don't need a development environment. You can work directly in production. I will show you very simple. Okay. Here you have all the purchases. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is like yesterday and the day before. And the, the information that will be sent to your endpoint, you see this is my endpoint here, to this URL is this checkout information, those data, okay? So this, this data will be sent. In this data, there is just few information that I need. I need the email of the buyer and I need the amount that has been paid because with the amount, I know which item, which product have, has been bought, okay? So, and, but you have many more, more information. You have the phone number, you have the payment links, you have everything you want. But for me, I need to send an email and open um, a subscription or membership or do something with this email to uh, even to say, just, hey, thank you for buying this product, blah, 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 by the way. You can do whatever you want. You process it. And I'm going to show you the customized processing. So this is information you will receive. Okay. Now you have to implement this, this, um, this file on webhooks. Alors, when you create, when you create your, for the first time, when you create this file, it will show you exactly the, um, the, the code. It will give you the code. So you do add endpoint and you see here, this is the code. The code is given. Okay. So you just copy paste this code. Okay, so I copy paste this, this, uh, this code, so I will show you this code, okay. So how does it work, this code? Uh, it's very simple. <laughs> Everything is very simple, but I spend hours of doing it. So here's the beginning, you keep it, no issue. It's just the event data object, so it just retrieve the event data, you know, it's all these, uh, all those data with the email, the phone number and everything. So this is it. This one you keep. I just add some log, you know, some log to, to, to just uh, uh, trace exactly what's happening. Okay. You can, you can print. If you want to show the whole event, you do print dash R and you put here the event object and then it will show the whole piece 
wherever you want. Me, I put it in a, in a log file. Okay. Then here, I get the ID. You remember the ID? The ID is, is, uh, is uh, the payment ID. So the payment ID, I show you back. I'm back. The payment ID is this one. You see this ID? Okay, this CS live, blah, 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 blah. I was thinking, oh, okay, this is unique for this payment, so I keep it. There are other IDs that you can take, okay? But I, 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 took, I took this one. And this one, it's, very, it's just as simple as that. Dollar ID, dollar event data, object ID. That's it, it's inside. Then after you do whatever you want, okay? For me, I, tr I uh, so okay, that's, uh, that's it. The amount is the same, you see? amount object amount total you get the amount <coughs> the amount you see it's shown in the, here it's 15 euro for example for that for that one and 15 euro i um i needed to add the decimal you see because it's written 1500 it adds the two decimal so what i i just create i just added the 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 point here in order to show 15.00 because i'm going to store this information in my database in my on my on my server okay that's uh, uh okay so i continue I continue that um email so the email customer detail uh, email phone i take the phone but I, i'm not using it but if you want to create notification for example by whatsapp or telegram or whatever and you want to find them you or sms for example and you want to you want to send message to notify them of, uh, after payment you can do it okay so that's that's pretty uh, pretty nice Okay, this is a response sent to to the um, uh, to Stripe. Okay, well, you don't really care, but uh, yeah, it's, it was there. I just keep it. And then, what am I doing after that? Actually, in that specific case, I'm going to give some links to my um, to the buyer because he just subscribed to a club. It's a club I have on Telegram, so he pay 15 euro, and then he can access the club. So I just have to send him some links. Okay, so I'm just using actually i could i could do uh, differently you know but because i had already things that are that were implemented actually i i just uh, uh, hit another web page okay which is called stripe confirmation i send all the information email and what and and everything and then on, on this on this uh, stripe confirmation then i will send you see create uh, access club and send the email so i will i will um, i will treat the information okay but i could i could have done that directly here if you send if you just use the function mail mail blah blah blah, blah then you send your email okay no need to to do that but just to show you that you can do whatever you want you can store in database you can uh, you can send email confirmation you can send a whatsapp confirmation telegram confirmation whatever so that's uh, that's uh, that's good you can send email to you you can uh, you can do whatever you want okay and i use curl in order to send this uh, to hit actually this this uh, URL with the specific information. So, more of the story, just need to gather the information. You see just few lines, just copy paste the code. Okay, the code is available directly on, uh, on, um, on, uh, on Stripe, so that's perfectly fine. Okay, now the question is that at the top, actually at the top here, you see you have, um, I show you. You need to install something in order to be able to run this PHP. The reason, the reason is you need to have at the top, you need to have something like I show you. Uh, let me show you. Okay. So you need to have this, you see this vendor dash autoload, this one. And to have this one, you need to do something. Okay. That was the, the, special thing okay so first thing you go to the github stripe stripe.php i will add in the description of the video all the links and then you need to run the stripe to to have the stripe folder on your website and you need to run composer okay composer requires stripe stripe.php so i did it on my um on my uh, on my uh, on my uh, on my website so here i'm on my ubuntu server on Hostinger, it's a VPS. So I show you how it how it should end at the end. Okay, I have a few websites running on this one, on this one. So here, okay, 
and I should have uh, the vendor. You see this folder, the vendor, okay? This was created. How was it created? It was created as simple as Composer requires Stripe, you just follow requirement vendor and it should install, I just follow all these things and it should install the vendor folder. I'm not sure if you can copy, so you just follow the instruction and this will be fine. I'm not sure if you can just uh, copy paste the, the folder, I think it's more than that. So better follow to follow the instruction in order to have the vendor inside the, uh, the root of your uh, website, okay? So that's one thing. Uh, now, at the beginning, me, I didn't have the composer uh, function, the composer command. So in order to have the com composer command, you need to install composer. Uh, it's not very difficult, uh, with, uh, but you need, to, you need to do it. So I use the composer installer. So I use this, uh, this website, I follow it, and then you have the composer. And once you have the composer, then you can type composer, and then you can, uh, you can retrieve all the information. Continue as root, okay, I say no, but this is, this is the idea. So you need Composer, if you don't have it already. Me, I didn't have it natively on my Ubuntu, I had to install it. And then you need to follow the instruction to add the, 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 the Stripe folder into, with all the, the class and everything, into your, uh, your website. So it will add the vendor, called vendor folder. And that's it. Once done, then once, once this is done, then you can run actually your uh, your piece of your piece of code the one i've just i've just shown you here and that's it done fully customized now once you are building your code you want to test your code okay how to test your code because it's not a development environment it's a production environment so these those are real uh, actual uh, purchase and so first you need to have one purchase if you don't have a one purchase you can buy something uh, to yourself and then you have one purchase. Otherwise, you wait for the first purchase and then only you will have, you will see this checkout. And once you get it, it's amazing because you have this, bu this button called resend. Resend, so you will resend this message to hit your webhooks file as much as you want. And then, so I just click, for example, hit, Resend and you see it's been resent. So what's happening? It means it will trigger a message, a post message to this this file, and then you can add the log into file. No need to, to, to show you that, but and all the information you, you you can trace and debug everything just by doing that as much as you want. Uh, I had to do it uh, 100 times in order to, um, to, to complete uh, just my simple file, but it's uh, maybe it will be faster for you. That's it. Now you can have online training. So when the a client buy online training, you can give the access to the online training to your customer automatically. You just, you see, it's less than 100 lines of code. Um, of course, behind that, you, you need to have a database and everything in order to create, uh, to add the, the uh, the new customer and everything, but it's, it can be very, very simple. In my, um, in my case, I just created it uh, uh, manually. If you need some help to implement that, uh, you will find on my website uh, some uh, coaching service and everything, but it's not, uh, it's not very complicated. Just follow the instruction. I wish you a very happy day, and if you have any question, of course, you can uh, write uh, in, the, in uh, a comment below the video. I wish you a very happy day. Bye-bye.